Hey guys, I'm a 42 year old man who still lives with his mother, and my name is Jackson Jones from Fallout News. Uh, so today I was feeling a little bit crafty. My local grocery store was selling 10 for 10 Coca Cola glass bottles, and I figured uh, this is a crafting time or opportunity. So I made these little Nuka Cola bottles. Look at that, Nuka Cola. Cap, cap and all. Uh, the cap I'll show actually in a separate video if this video does well, like 100, 100 likes. I'll do a Nuka Cola cap video. It's honestly not that hard, and there's probably already one on YouTube, but I do mine a little different. Uh, so stay tuned, we're gonna learn how to make these. Alright, so I got this Coke from my grocery store. It had this wrapping on it. Um, so you're gonna want to go ahead and take that wrapping off. I got some scissors here. And just kind of went to town on it. It's not easy to take off, but it's not too difficult either. Um, just once you get it, it's pretty easy to keep going. Alright, so put that aside for a second. Or uh, what I did is actually I drank mine. And then you want to take out the labels. Um, I'll have a link in the description to where you can get those labels. And you're gonna want to cut out two, one for each side. Or I guess if you just want one on one side uh, for the display or whatever, I guess you could do that too. Uh, but you still want to cut them out. Uh, it's not nothing too fancy. You don't want to see the white, of course, on the outside. Um, so just cut around it, and you know, again, not too fancy, but you know, whatever you want. Yeah. So once you got them, you still want to put glue on the back. Um, I use this special glue called Mod Podge. I'll have a link in the description to exactly what that is. Um, it's not like too special, but it's like this all-around water-based sealer. Um, yeah, just put it on the bottle like that. Um, make sure you flatten it out because you don't want excess under there. You kind of want it tight. Um, so it'll stay good um, be cautious though it'll get wrinkly the, if you try and do it too hard and um, if you also press too hard and pull too hard it'll rip um, so yeah just be careful with it um, put it put on a liberal amount before you stick it on um, but then just like squeeze the excess out I didn't really do that on this one and so later I actually had some problems with it um, but yeah if you put it on liberally and just squeeze it out um, with like your thumb or whatever and wipe it up with paper towel it's not hard and then after you do that, yeah, like just like I'm doing here, um, you want to put some Mod Podge actually right over it, because the Mod Podge dries clear, and um, so that's so you don't have to like do like a clear coat or whatever, like spray paint or whatnot, like I used to do. Um, once I figured out that the Mod Podge dries crystal clear, I just um, lathered it up with Mod Podge. Of course, it looks blurry and whatnot, and um, it looks like you're just putting white stuff on it, but it'll dry 100% clear and it looks super nice. Like I discovered here. Um, the Mod Podge actually makes the paper bleed a bit, so I'm seeing I'm wiping red off of my paintbrush there. That's from the red ink of the paper. Um, Mod Podge works well for transferring um, ink from paper to wood, um, and so that's one of the properties it makes kind of it makes ink kind of um, bleed off a little bit there. Um, that's nothing too serious, so um, it'll dry basically clear even with that red offset to it. Um, but yeah, just something to take note so you don't brush it too hard. Um, that red's gonna stay there. You also want to make sure that your brush strokes are pretty even. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because it'll dry clear anyways. But um, if you do it like all swirly and whatnot, I mean, if you're looking up close, you'll be able to see it. And um, it, it just doesn't look nice. And then once you've got them on, what you want to do is, is you want to let them dry for a bit um, with the Mod Podge over it. And then after you let them dry, I'm doing a second coat on mine. You don't have to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just was more comfortable with that. Um, and the great thing about this is, is it's waterproof. Um, so like if you, let's say you you put, um, Coca-Cola back into it or Nuka-Cola back into it and you want to drink it out, it's totally fine because it's 100% waterproof. So like if you spill or whatnot, it shouldn't come off, um, because you've got a waterproof seal on it. Um, but if you do want to like, like put in a dishwasher or something, I haven't really tried this, but I, Mod Podge stays on basically better than any glue I've ever used. I mean, short of super glue. Um, so do three or four coats on it. Uh, that should really seal it in. So if you, if you put it in like a dishwasher or whatnot, it shouldn't um, wash away. Um, but then if it does, don't be blaming me. And yeah, you can refill it, um, put a Nuka Cola cap on it like I did, um, and then drink out of it, show your friends and whatnot. Um, and then, yeah, so that's basically all there is to it. Well, there you have it. How to make a Nuka Cola bottle. Cheers, my friend. Mm. I thought I was gonna fizz. <laughs> the thing did fizz. <laughs> I hadn't opened that one yet. I mean, I taken the cap off and replaced it with the Nuka Cola cap, but I hadn't opened that one yet. Something about the Nuka Cola label just makes it taste better. I swear. 
Well, if you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe for sure to Fallout News. Um, and leave a comment, you know, if you like this one, if you like this tutorial, if you want me to figure out how to make anything else from Fallout and do a video on it, I'm definitely open to do that. Um, again, if this video gets like 100 likes, I'll do a Nuka Cola cap. There we go, tutorial. And um, yeah, uh, I'm Jackson Jones, and uh, this has been Fallout News.